Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with me, Peter, the Master of Puppets, and him. Um, yeah, uh, we're going to be looking at a beer today that uh, I have, should have reviewed already. It's a classic Belgian ale, and I've gotten so many requests for this, so I thought we should review it. Picked it up today, actually, uh, and it's from uh, Brasserie uh, Hugue. Hugue? Yeah, I'm not really sure if I pronounce it. <laughs> I'm not sure, it, yeah, it's a Delirium Tremens. I'm not sure if it's Delirium Tremens or Delirium Tremens. I think it's Tremens. I'm not, Tremens? Tremens, Tremens, yeah. If you're from Belgium, tell me which pronunciation was best. But I really like the label on here with the, the pink elephants and all. Uh, well, it's crocodile and dragons. <laughs> painted bottle. Yeah, and it's awesome. a painted, painted bottle, which is really cool. It looks like ceramics. And it's on 8.5% alcohol, and it's a Belgian strong blonde ale. Um, yeah, and it's, it is really good. I've had it plenty of times. Last year I reviewed their, around Christmas time, I reviewed their uh, Delirium Noël, which is the Christmas version. Oh, I think it's all called Christmas in the US, uh, in the US or something like that. But him, I've got some info about the beer. Yeah. <clears throat> the particular character and unique taste of Delirium Tremens results from the use of three different kinds of yeasts. It's very, it's very original packing which resembles cologne caram, caram, ceramics and colorful label contribute to its success. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, and as far as I remember, it's a really good building, str uh, building strong ale, a building strong blonde ale. So um, it's been a while since I've had it. It's one of the first building beers I actually had. So uh, I mean, it must be awesome. It got pink elephants. Yeah, <laughs> and it's in a ceramic looking. <laughs> yeah. But let's uh, get it cracked open. Uh, so we got it poured here, and it's a really nice golden yellow color. Kind of looks like a lager, just with some haze on it. And a nice head, minus two and a half fingers, and it's sticking around. It's bright white. I just want to. Yeah, uh, it looks quite nice. Let's. Uh, it looks kind. It looks like a nice Belgian strong ale. Let's take the aroma. Mm. Oh, lots of lots of doughy, yeasty. Mm, a lot of yeast. Yeah, but almost like a yogurt aroma yeah. to it. A yogurt. But I mean, this brewed with three different kind of yeast. So yeah, but a lot of fruit and yeah. aroma. Yeah. A lot of fruit esters from the yeast, like mm. a pear, um, green apple, banana. Banana, actually. Mm -hmm. And some spices too. I get like clove and cor maybe in the coriander. Maybe some mm. Maybe a like peppery note. Yeah. It smells a lot like Duvel. Have you ever had Duvel? No, no, actually. It's no. kind of like that, but maybe just a smidge more complex or so more of a doughy character. Yeah, because it's got some doughy bread and there's too some sweet maltiness mm. in there too. Light sugar notes too. It's quite beautiful actually. It smells really yeah. nice. It smells kind of like a summery beer. Mm. They also have a Delirium, um, what's it called? Not Tremens, Delirium, Noctur Nocturnum, Nocturnum, which is a dark version of this. Do, you get, do you get any memory from the, the other ones you tasted? What do you think? Uh, like oh, the other times I've had it. Yeah. Well, it smells exactly like I remember. Smells uh, and, and, and the initial thing I remember is that yeasty component with all the fruity esters. It smells quite nice. You can actually see some yeast in it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of haze. Yeah, yeah. yeah, oh yeah, actually. <laughs> Let's give it a taste. Cheers. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Wow, it's got a lot of, lot of pear and green mm. apple. And oh, that's nice. Actually, as well. Yeah. It's got a light sour tang to it, like a light tartness. Mm. Just light. Yeah. And the body on it is actually surprisingly light. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's, a, it's a good like summer beer actually. Yeah, and a nice dry mouthfeel. And um, you don't taste the 8.5% alcohol. Oh, no, right? not at all. That's very well hidden. What flavors do you get in there? Mm. I get the banana uh, exceptionally yeah. uh, much action. Yeah, and the corn. So it got like yeah, a, a bit, a bit of corn. It's got almost like, like, like the back uh, of my thumb. Actually, it's, it's got like a white wine note to it too. Mm. Almost like a like a white grape kind of white vinous yeah. flavor. And there, it's got a lot of pepperiness too. I mm. think spice wise, and along with the coriander, uh, and a lot of that yeast component. 
It actually got a light, a light burn in your throat when you're like yeah. that, but when you're in your right. throat, that must be like. But it's really. But you can't taste alcohol. You can just you can feel the alcohol, but yeah. you can't taste it. Doughy, bready, whiny flavor. Wine. Yeah, it's definitely also a whiny. <laughs> definitely also <laughs> vinous. Vinous, sorry. Actually, but I like the pink elephant as well. Yeah, I really like the pink elephant. <laughs> it reminds me of uh, Dumbo. Yeah. Dumbo. It's <laughs> just coffee. That's nice. Mm. Okay, I'm a little more of the fruity as now, but great. What rate, what rating would you give this? I think Dumbo would like this beer. <laughs> I mean, he, he got drunk. I sh he probably yeah, he got drunk in this. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I think it was probably illegal and tremendous. That's why he saw the pink elephant. <laughs> so weird. <yeah. laughs> but what grade would you give this? Very good. It's uh, very summery. Um, Maybe did like elderflower taste on my yeah, Actually, yes. Yeah. I think I'd give it 89.90 something. 89.90, yeah. I'm right up there with you, to be honest. I was thinking an 87. It's a really nice, spilled in strong blonde ale. I've had a little better, but it's still up there, and it's a classic. I mean, this is, if you're getting into building beer, you gotta taste this one, because the Delium and Tremens is definitely a classic. I've had it so many times. Uh, I would love to try this fresh on tap in Belgium mm. and one of the Delirium bars. That would be really cool. Uh, but yeah, an 87 from me and an 89.90 from Henrik for the Delirium Tremens. Tremens? Tremens? I'm not really sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Something like that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah guys, let us know what you think about it if you've had it. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And we're going to say cheers. And we're going to see you guys in another beer review.